Is that is it on? No. Oh wait. Go. Go. <laughs> Dang it! Ah! Alright guys, welcome back to Son of a Cyclist. By popular demand, I'm going to do a video today to show you how to take pictures of yourself without needing somebody behind the camera. Over the last couple of years, I've had a lot of people ask me how I take pictures of myself while on the bike. Now that I've got my own YouTube channel, I figured this is a great opportunity to create some content, show you the tools necessary to get the job done so you can get out there, start taking pictures of yourself just like I do. You're gonna need three things. And the first one is a camera. And this is what I'm gonna use on the photo shoot today. But keep in mind, you don't have to have something this fancy. Also keep in mind that the camera body here that I'm using is like nine years old because the camera I usually use, I'm recording on. So if you have a point and shoot or you've just been using your phone or GoPro and you wanna invest into a more versatile style DSLR camera, you don't have to get a brand new camera. Check Craigslist or your local classifieds for something that is a little bit older but still in good condition and you could probably get it for next to nothing. Whether you're using a DSLR similar to this or a point and shoot camera, we just wanna be able to use the AV out digital input. The next part you're gonna need is one of these remotes. You can get these on Amazon for under 20 bucks and what this does is allow us to set the parameters of the timer and control the camera with the remote instead of utilizing the timer that comes on your camera, which doesn't have a lot of options. The next important thing about this is that it allows us to choose the intervals. So we can set this to one second, which will set the camera to take a shot every one second. Since we're gonna be doing action shots today, we're gonna to set it on one so we get as many shots to choose from at the end of the shoot. And finally, the last thing this lets us do is choose the number of pictures we can take. You can choose one or two or five or infinite. When I'm doing these action shots, I set it to infinite. That way I can push start, go in front of the camera, do as many laps or rounds around the camera as I feel like doing. And then when I'm ready to come check and see what kind of shots I got, I can ride back to the camera, push stop, and then check it out. And third and finally, you're gonna need a tripod. You don't need anything fancy. I got this at Walmart like 13 years ago for 20 bucks. So just keep in mind, you need something to put your camera on to stabilize it and that's it. All right, now that we've talked about the three things that you need to do this, let's get everything packed in the car. I'll go get changed up. We'll go out to location and I'll show you how to do this. Having a flashing light on the tripod can help catch the attention of any drivers that may come through while you're riding away from your camera. Know what line you need to take when riding towards the camera. Riding in a line too far left or right will result in you being out of the frame. Plug your remote into your camera. First, we will set a delay, which will give us time to get into position after pushing start. Next, we will set the interval to one second. Finally, set the number of shots to infinite. All right guys, that's it. So it's pretty simple. All you need to know are the steps on how to set everything up. But once you do, it's just trial and error, getting out, not taking it too seriously, allow yourself to go out, have some fun, not feel too quirky or embarrassed while you're out doing it. Try different body positions. 
Try different sprints on the bike. Try looking in different directions. And then come back, take a look and see what you like, see what you don't like. And then if you don't like any of those, get back out, try it again. I really hope that this video is what you guys were expecting and helps get you in the right direction to getting out there and taking pictures of yourself. If you do have any questions, be sure to leave them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer them as best as I can. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.